human mind and the human body is more powerful than any technology. It has the potential to be more powerful, let's just say that. But in order to activate that power and to manifest that power, it takes a lot of training, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of dedication. Like if you practice martial arts, which is what I'm doing, I mean, you can watch martial arts film and you can see people doing all these very amazing things with their body. But um, for them to get there, it took hours and hours, thousands, tens of thousands of hours of training and lots of pain and sweat and broken bones and, 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 uh, and injuries even in, in order to get there. Everybody's potential is unlimited. Whether you get there or not depends on basically a couple of things. Whether you put the time into training yourself and developing those abilities or unlocking those abilities. Or number two, what I'm doing here is to use technology to expertise or to train you automatically to do the training for you and, and to tune or to upgrade your mind and body without putting in effort. So if you're someone who, who wants to become more powerful or have more power, whether it be like more, you know, psychic power or, or manifestation power or physical power or more success in your life or more attraction power, all that can be done. Put all the effort in yourself without technology. You can all do that. Second way is to use technology without effort. And that's all possible too. Third way is to do both, which is put the effort in and add the technology in there to help you. And that's the fastest way. And I think that's the best way. We've gone way beyond rife. Then they start thinking, you mean there's more to rife frequency? Yes, there is. Because your body responds to frequencies in more ways than one. For example, one way that people don't realize is that your skin responds to frequencies too. And this is obvious. When you go to a really loud concert, right? You can feel your like your chest go boom, 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 but the, the, the actual bass actually shaking your chest and your rib cage. So that's very obvious, but you don't need something so loud. But even if you listen to this frequency right now, it's coming out of your phone. Sound waves is actually moving, moving air. Sound and uh, acoustics, by definition, is just energy waves moving the air and that's how your ear picks up the sound it's moving the air and it's moving back and forth and then your brain is processing that that sound right but at the same time that moving of the air the acoustic vibrations is moving your skin and your skin responds to it as well so your skin is like this giant you can say it's like a giant ear and it's listening to these acoustic frequencies too and when it does that, it actually has an effect on what the skin does and actually has an effect on the entire nervous system because it's all connected uh, into, your, into your nervous system. Your skin is all connected to your, all, all your receptors on your nervous system. So that's the one way that people are not uh, realize that sound is absorbed by the skin, not just absorbed by your ears. If you listen to some of our quantum frequencies, not right, quantum frequencies, especially the higher quantum ones, and you start to feel buzzy, that's exactly what's happening, okay? It's actually affecting your skin on your whole body. And it's basically sending impulses to all the neurons in your brain and all the, all the recept, uh, touch receptors on your skin. And it's actually um, like activating a lot of processes. With the coils, we have another aspect, which is magnetic frequencies, magnetic waves, which vibrate, not just the skin, it vibrates down basically the calcite in your cells and the calcite in your in some parts of your brains. We all have these little tiny crystals in our bloodstream and they are actually radio receptors. So you know that your phone uses a certain crystal to receive like the signal in order to broadcast this video right now. Like that's how cell phones work. When we, when we um, talk to people like, uh, and go back even further, that's how radios work. They all work with crystals. But did you know that our body has these crystals too? Okay, it's not just in the computer screens and phones and radios. Our body has really tiny little calcite crystals throughout the bloodstream. And um, you can even say inside of our cells and definitely inside of our brains. Actually, my bo our bones have a lot of calcium in it too. So all that actually can um, technically receive radio signals and receive electromagnetic waves. So that is also one way that the body absorbs the energy. Let's talk about also light. 
our body has light receptors. All right, so you have a laser pointer, you point it on your hand, you move it around, you can feel the laser pointer on your hand, it tickles a little bit because the photons are reacting to your photoreceptors on your hand. So you have actually photoreceptors. So all this is very interesting. So basically your body is like this giant machine or so to speak, it's like this giant canvas or receptor that is designed to receive frequencies in many different levels.